Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are doing another fun monster mash. So I'm right now live on Twitch with my Twitch community, and we are gonna be doing another fun edible animal or garden animal or whatever you wanna call them. But basically today we are gonna be combining two animals and a fruit, vegetable, or food item. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask my Twitch community to send me a couple of different animal ideas. We'll put them in the straw poll, and then after they will send me uh, a vegetable, a fruit, or some type of food that we can mash together with these animals. All right, Twitch chat, go ahead and send me your suggestions, and I will plug them into the straw poll, and we will see what we get. All right, so the Twitch chat has voted. So for our first animal, it was between a Bing Turong, I don't know if I pronounced that right, a mongoose, a cheetah, an ostrich, and an elk. And the final result is, oh, it's tied between three things. What? Guys, guys, you're killing me. We'll probably have to do a redraw for that. But it was between a mongoose, an ostrich, and an elk. So we'll probably do a redraw. But let's see what the next animal is. So animal two was between a thorny devil, a lion, a barn owl, a newt, and a bull. And, oh my god, guys, you're killing me. You're killing me. You're killing me. There's just so many ties. <laughs> We're gonna have to do a redraw on both of these. Uh, let's see if maybe the food, we got something finalized. So it was between spaghetti, dragon fruit, red cabbage, sugar snap peas, kiwi, and passion fruit. Okay, dragon fruit one. So for sure, we are gonna be doing a dragon fruit. Okay, so for the first tiebreaker, it was between a mongoose, an ostrich, and an elk, and the final result was an elk. So that wins by seven votes. And then the second one was between a thorny devil, a lion, a newt, and a bull, and the final result was a newt. So we have to combine an elk, a newt, and some dragon fruit. That's gonna be interesting. We're gonna have to see how that works. But I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a few quick rush sketches to try to figure out how to combine all this, and then we'll go from there. I'll see you guys in a bit. So for this first initial sketch phase, I was trying to figure out how to combine all three elements in an interesting and different way, and it was kind of interesting but fun to figure out how to combine a newt and an elk since they're two creatures that are completely different in size. Um, but it was fun to play around and think of a couple of different executions for it and it was also really fun to lay in the dragon fruit and different aspects from the actual fruit itself. Okay so I have finished the initial sketches and I'm kind of torn between a couple. This third one I absolutely hate. I hate the third one. But I really like the first and the second one for a couple of different reasons. The first one is kind of this elegant elk newt combo thing. And then the second one is just this cute little newt thing, and I think both of them could turn into something really cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and leave it up to the Twitch chat to vote on which design we should do today. All right, so the Twitch chat has voted between the three designs, and the final result is number two, winning by one point. So we are gonna do the cute little newt design, and I'm actually really excited for this one. I think he was my favorite. The elk was pretty cool too, but I really like the cute newt cute newt that's adorable all right well i'm gonna go ahead and jump in kind of sketch him in a new pose and then we will start coloring from there so now with the initial design picked i wanted to make sure to give this creature an interesting and new dynamic pose so i started out by sketching uh just kind of some interesting pose that would give it some movement but also show off the different aspects that i added to the creature overall i wanted to make sure to show all of the different little details and ideas of how I combined the two creatures and the dragon fruit. So I wanted to make sure I had a, a good angle to show all of that, but also give it kind of an interesting and playful design. Then from there, I went in and did the line art. I chose to do a red line art since this was going to be an overall pinkish, reddish animal. Um, so I thought the red line art would add a nice touch to the pink overall. And it was really fun to do this line art, especially all of the little leaves from the dragon fruit. It kind of made it look like spines or spikes or some types of tufts on the back of the creature. And I think it added a really nice texture to it. And then after the initial line art, I went in and laid a base color and started to build the colors from there. I wanted to make sure this whole thing looked like the dragon fruit because it's a really gorgeous fruit and the coloring that is on it is just awesome. 
and I wanted to use a lot of different aspects from the fruit overall. There's the exterior skin that's the reddish pink, and then all of the leaves are this really nice green with touches of yellow. And I also really love the inside of the fruit, the white flesh with the uh, speckling of the black seeds. It all looks really nice, and I want to make sure to have all of that present on the creature when I was painting it. So after laying on some color and getting the base ideas, I added some extra touches of the yellows and other colors, and I also made the eyes the same color as the interior of the fruit because it kind of lended well and helped it stand out from the reds and the greens. And then after laying down all the base colors, I went back in and did some highlights and shades. I wanted to make sure this kind of looked like a slimy newt salamander type of look um, and also have a really nice shine effect on its skin for sure. I know the fruit is a much more matte fruit. It doesn't really have a shine to it, kind of like an apple or a well waxed or polished fruit. Um, but I really wanted to make sure that this creature overall had a shiny effect because, you know, newts are much more, um, I guess, shiny and moist looking because I think they're all covered in some type of mucus. So I want to make sure that this creature in the end still had that moist and shiny effect that a newt would. All right, and we are all done with this edible animal combo, and we have officially dubbed it the dragon fruit, and that's fruit, F-R-E-W-T. And it is super cute, I love this one, and I really like how the coloring overall turned out. I think the newt and elk aspects really mesh well together with the dragon fruit. At first I was like, ah, oh, this might look a little weird, but I actually really, really like this a lot. So to kind of go over what I did, we did the overall newt body, but then I added elk horns, ears, and hooves to the back feet. And then we kept a consistent dragon fruit pinkish color and tried to accentuate those leaves as kind of like tufts of spines or hair or something that goes along its back. Along with the elk horns, I wanted to make sure still looked like they were part of the dragon fruit. So I mimicked the leaf look from the dragon fruit skin onto the horns as well. And we also put in an extra little touch of the dragon fruit by using its inside, which is the white with the seeds speckling. We put that on the tongue and the belly, and I think that adds a really cute and interesting element to this creature. So thanks again, guys, so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And if you would like to participate in any other future monster mashes, make sure to follow me at twitch.tv forward slash So thanks again, guys, for stopping by, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.